Hey what's going on guys, Ruchi here and in this video I want to talk about four surefire ways to make a habit stick. Now up until 2020 I never stuck to anything, in fact I hated telling people that I'd started a habit or a new diet or a new exercise regime because I knew it wasn't going to last even though I wanted it to last. I would dread that they'd ask me in a couple of weeks like oh you know hey do you still go to the gym and I'd have to be like no uh, you know just got really busy with the work or whatever it was. So I never really stuck to anything up until the beginning of last year and that's when I started implementing some of the things I'm going to talk about. Now fast forward to today I've got an 142 day streak going for nine different habits which I'm really really proud about and I'm going to share with you four ways that I kind of started to implement this. Now the first thing you want to do is start with one habit. Now I know when I heard that I thought okay no that's fine for other people but I can do two, I can do four, I can do five but here's the thing it's so much harder especially when you've had the entire day and you know it's 9 p.m 10 p.m you haven't done your habit yet and you're just thinking to yourself okay but I've got four things to do um, how am I going to do all those things you're more likely to blow it off and um, as opposed to if you only had one so try and pick one and pick it in pick the habit that you think is going to be the most effective so if your goal is weight loss and you're thinking to yourself okay what's the number one habit I can build around this I'm most likely going to get the most results through diet so maybe the goal is tracking calories as opposed to saying I'm going to track my calories I'm going to go to the gym every morning and I'm going to go for a run every evening it's just not likely especially trying to build all three of those at the same time the second surefire way to make a habit stick is make it a low barrier to succeed so let me give you an example so when I first started doing this I had I set myself a calorie goal and my habit was going to be okay I'm going to eat I'm going to track everything I eat is going to be under these calories and when I if I went over it I would class that as okay I've broken the habit and it's sort of done that's really hard because you're actually doing all the right things and you know maybe sometimes you're going to go over by accident sometimes you're not going to be able to go to the gym when you think that you're going to be able to go so it's really important to try and have a low barrier to succeed so another habit I've got right now is meditating and sometimes I do five minute meditation sometimes I do 10 minute meditations but sometimes I just can't whether it's a time constraint whether it's I've left it too late in the day whatever it is and if I do a one minute meditation it's a win for me so it allows me to do it every day and I'm not dreading it because I'm thinking okay even if I do one minute another one is I say I'm going to do minimum 20 minutes of exercise every day so sometimes like today I went to the gym for over an hour and did like you know muscle related stuff sometimes there's just a walk around the block sometimes it's just literally walk around the house but the point is I get it done every single day the third way to make sure you actually stick to it is attach it to something you already do so a friend of mine is actually trying to start a meditation habit right now and she just kept forgetting she just put it off whatever it was and I said to her well why don't you meditate before your very first meal in the day you can't eat until you meditate so however long you meditate is up to you depending on like you know how hungry you are how late, late you left it or whatever but you anchor it to something that you're gonna do already and it's a lot easier to get it done now this is something I struggle with my day is completely unorganized so it's very unlikely I do things at the same time every day but that's how you get a habit to stick and that's something I'm working on for sure but you can tie it to something and it just makes it feel wrong to do one thing without the other so it'll feel weird eat, starting your meals like eating before you meditated or another example is I'm not going to shower until I've exercised whatever it is if you attach it to something that you already do every day you're more likely to stick to it and the fourth and final way is don't break the chain now the only reason I've lasted 142 days is because I don't want to break my streak so if you start doing it in a way where okay I'm going to exercise three times a week or whatever it is you're less likely to do it I've, I've tried that myself and what ends up happening is I'll think to myself okay I'm going to exercise Monday, Thursday, Sunday but then I missed say Thursday and then I, yeah Monday, Friday, uh, Monday, Saturday, Sunday and then I'm like oh I don't like doing two days in a row or whatever it is and when you're doing something every single day 
there's no kind of wiggle room you're gonna do it one way or the other and like I said it doesn't need to be that you know you're gonna go to the gym every single day it could be literally like okay if I'm committed to exercise walking the exercise um, jogging the exercise running the exercise anything you could do at home so that if something in your schedule changes you can still get it done and that's pretty much what I've been able to do and that's why I've kind of stuck to it so no matter what even if I know that you know I'm traveling that day I'm gonna be out the city whatever it is I'll somehow make sure those habits actually fit in somehow to my day and that's pretty much how I've done it so I hope this video is helpful if you got any questions leave it below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and yeah thanks for watching